everyone, my name is Brugly, and today I'm going to be talking about a backrooms level that might explain where the famous Crimson Forest level went. If you don't know, the Crimson Forest level has disappeared, and no one knows where it went, except the level in this video might explain it, and the level in question is level 9.1. It's shrouded in a ton of mystery, so without any more talking, let me get right into this craziness. But before I get into the video, if you don't mind, go check out my second channel, Toogly. I upload literally five times a week on there, content's going amazing, I'm trying to get to 50,000 by the end of the year, if you want to help me out, please drop a sub. So if you remember way back in the day, there was a level called the Crimson Forest. Now, I actually featured this level in the first safest backrooms level video on the channel, which you can still see, but since then, it has seemingly disappeared. And this new level 9.1 might be what's left of it. This level entry starts out with a little audio log that says, quote, did a quick write up of that new crater thingy where those funky fields used to be at. So yeah, those funky fields might just be referring to the Crimson Fields, which were near the Crimson Forest, perhaps. Backrooms level 9.1 is classified as a class pending, and it doesn't have a determined safety, and there hasn't been any entities found either. Not much is known about it. The level itself is a sub-level of the normal level 9, which I've made a full video on, if you're interested in checking that out. But the area looks like a huge impact crater like the ones that a meteor would make. The crater itself is around 20 kilometers wide, or around 12 miles, and it seems to be completely barren, like there's no grass, no trees, water, or any vegetation of any kind. There's quite literally nothing that points to life here, which almost makes it seem like some sort of extinction event might have happened. Maybe a catastrophe of some sort. Maybe? There's no day or night cycle either, which means the sun is constantly above you in the sky. It doesn't say what the temperature is, but I'd say if the sun's always above you, then it's gonna be pretty warm. Now, the reason this level is called level 9.1, just like the Crimson Forest used to be called that, is because the way the wanderer that noclipped here got here is literally almost the same way that the Crimson Forest used to be accessed. So the main theory as of right now is is that this crater is the last remnants of the old Crimson Forest, but it's just that, a theory. There's no concrete evidence that this is where the Crimson Field and Forest used to be, just a bunch of speculation. And it could be just a massive coincidence that it's accessed the same way as the old Crimson Forest was. Who knows? To enter this huge barren crater, you have to walk away from the main streets in level 9, like as far out as you can, and then you'll be sent here. The grass of level 9 will start to slowly transform into rocky sand and dirt, and then it'll eventually go from darkness that level 9 is in to the light, which level 9.1 this level is in. To exit the level, you have to walk down to the crater, and in the very middle of it, you'll find a couple small holes that you can jump into, and then you gotta just jump into them and you'll be sent back to level 9, so that's pretty neat. Now, at the bottom of the level entry, there is another small audio log that replies to the first one that I read at the beginning. This one says, quote, Now, about the theory section. I don't really see where you're coming from with the Crimson Forest hypothesis. There's no real solid ground for it to stand on. First of all, correlation does not equal causation. The crater could have been caused by a number of different things. Secondly, the crater was discovered several days before we lost contact with CF or Crimson Field. So there's no way it can be what's left of the forest. I understand that it's difficult to process, and I know grieving takes on many forms, but coming up with these kinds of desperate explanations isn't healthy. I know that may sound harsh, but these are the words you need to hear right now. She's gone, Mac. My general advice is this. Wait for more information about the crater to come back, and then you can write a draft for it, providing that you keep it to the facts. Thank you, end quote. So yeah, as you can see, this Meg officer is a Debbie Downer and says that there is no way that this crater is what's left of the Crimson Forest. But what does he know? The Meg officer also says that this area was found just a few days before all contact was lost from the Crimson Forest, which is pretty interesting if you ask me. Now, Meg says this isn't what destroyed the famous Crimson Forest, but that still leaves a huge question unanswered to me. What happened to the Crimson Field and Forest and the hundreds of people living in it? They couldn't have just vanished. 
And I really find it interesting that the exact same way you get to this crater level is the same way you used to get to the Crimson Forest level. That cannot be a coincidence. What do you think? And interestingly enough, this Crimson Forest disappearance is not the only level that's been destroyed or has disappeared. People on Backrooms level 22 had disappeared, and there were thousands at one point in time. As well as the entirety of Backrooms level 78 being destroyed by a meteor. So if you do want to make the connection that the Crimson Forest possibly blew up or was incinerated by a meteor, you can look to level 78, which happened the exact same way. The only difference is that 78 did take place in space, where meteors are, but nevertheless, it was destroyed by a massive meteor type thing. So the Backrooms is no stranger to destroying itself. The only question is, who's destroying everything? And if you're new to the Backrooms and that kind of thing, and you want to learn more about the Crimson Forest and the Crimson Field, what it used to be, there's a video on my channel about it. I'll link in the description. There's also a really cool found footage video from Frag2 about the Crimson Forest, so I'll leave that below as well. I reacted to it on Toogly a little bit ago, but go watch that video. It will show you why the Crimson Forest used to be so awesome, and I think you'll really enjoy it. All right, that is it for the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. This one was pretty fun to do because I really love the Crimson Forest level and was pretty sad to see it not exist anymore. So it's pretty neat that this level adds a bit of mystery to it. Even though it's probably not what happened, it's still pretty fun to talk about. Anyways, thank you all for watching till the end. If you are indeed still watching the video, comment in the comment section Crimson Brugley. And if you do that, I'll throw a heart at your comment because you're super dope for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. While you're scrolling down to comment that, go check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly. I upload several times a week on both of those channels. Toogly gets reactions, gameplay, funny stuff with just me goofing around. It's a great time. Spoogly gets cryptic stuff like SCPs, alien stuff, strange disappearances. Pretty much anything in the realm of cryptic and mythos is on Spoogly. So you have two different channels you can check out if you want more of me and obviously the Brugly channel is here too. And here on the Brugly channel, we are counting down to 500,000 and it is in sight, literally, and I cannot thank you all enough for the support you give this channel. Thank you so much for helping it grow, interacting with the content, subbing, liking, sharing the videos. I really appreciate everything you do for me. 500,000 is literally insane, and I cannot wait to buy the Backrooms outfit, make videos in it, make uh, make everything in it I can. It's going to be awesome. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you just for everything, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.